There's a great desire to start opening up the economy. Livelihoods are at stake. So we need to know where is it safe to open up the economy more and where should we still be being more cautious. You don't want to do that in a way that puts people's lives at risk. In an effort to help safely reopen the state of Michigan, the University of Michigan is building online tools to provide up-to-date COVID-related health information to help state officials make informed decisions. They're developing a symptom tracker app and an online COVID-19 risk dashboard that combines info from this app with other data. Departments of health across the nation or across the world haven't actually ever been faced with this level of decision making for this long. So our systems weren't built for this. This is one of the reasons why we're trying to use the best principles of precision health in this precision population health um, need that the state has. The app is designed to be used as Michiganders head back to work. Users will enter basic physiological data on a daily basis, providing decision makers with the ability to identify potential hotspots throughout the state. The app's information then leads into a dashboard, where it integrates with other data streams and creates visualizations. Officials can see information and trends at the regional, county, and state level. We really want to be able to help the state navigate this sort of 21st century capability of real-time assessment and real-time decision making in order to kind of maximize Michigan's ability to go back to work safely. At U of M, faculty members, staff, and students from public health, information, and engineering are contributing to the effort in building these tools. A lot of the students have an emotional connection to the COVID crisis. People they know are sick, people they know have passed away, and they want to do a good job, and they want to do it now.